Alright guys, if you've played Airsoft any amount of time, you've probably seen a lot of great play and bad play and fights and flip outs, but sometimes it's what happens off the field that's even stranger. So let's take a look at what kind of news is coming out of the real world this week in Airsoft. This is kind of a predicament. You can't hear anything through the stupid waterfall. Hey everybody, today we're talking about the opening of some carnival style airsoft shooting ranges, multiple places around the country over the last week or two. We're going to talk about is that really a good idea, but before we get into that, let me touch on a couple of notable events that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. Third Coast Airsoft is hosting their Operation Prairie Fire on the 14th and 15th this month in Leander, Texas. Now this is a Vietnam themed milsim and it looks like there's tickets left for each roll as of this recording. So if you're in that Vietnam air and style reproduction play, then might be something for you. Secondly, we've got Balahack's big Revelations Fertile Crescent 6 coming up. Also, the weekend of the 14th and the 15th at Balahack's Field in Chesapeake, Virginia. Also, looks like there's tickets available as of this recording. You can sign up for 80 bucks for a single day or 120 bucks for the weekend. And Rev FC is kind of its own unique thing. It's a post-apocalyptic cosplay and roleplay all combined with Airsoft. You know, LARPing is not really my cup of tea, but if LARPing's your thing, then this is something you definitely want to check out. It certainly makes for some interesting viewing on Swamp Sniper's YouTube page after the fact. And then lastly, the 2021 National Airsoft Festival is on in the UK. After the UK lifted most of their COVID restrictions in July, this event is on once again. This is a yearly event that usually gathers over 2,000 airsoft players, and it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, airsoft events in the world. In addition to the obvious airsoft gameplay, this event has vendor tents, prizes and giveaways, a wide variety of food and drink venues, and I mean of the alcoholic variety, as well as live band entertainment each night of the event. And this event's going to be happening Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the end of August. Right now there's almost 1,300 airsofters signed up as of this recording, but there does appear to be space available, so if you're one of our UK community members out there and you're interested in this, make sure you go sign up. All right, so now let's talk about the news for the week, and that's airsoft shooting ranges that are springing up in malls around the country. This week at the Woodlands Mall in Woodlands, Texas, we've got Spacecraft Airsoft opening up, which is a airsoft shooting range. And if we come over here to Spacecraft Airsoft's Instagram page, it literally just looks like uh, a table set up in an empty mall stall, and they've set up some small targets in the back, kind of carnival-style targets and they let you shoot electric AEGs at the airsoft targets. Looking at these pictures, it looks like clearly your demographic here is, is, is younger kids. They're probably too young to play airsoft yet, you know, officially out on a, on a field or an indoor field, but they still want to shoot the guns. Maybe you win carnival-style prizes. I don't know how, how much this costs, but uh, again, definitely looks like your uh, your demographic is, is kids, kids like uh, around 10 or under. And then similarly, we've got this uh, Battlestar Airsoft Shooting Range opening up at uh, Wheaton Mall in Wheaton, Maryland. Looks like kind of the same thing. Looks like you've got a table set up in there with some AGs and then some little targets to shoot at. So you can see, yeah, you can see here on the you can see here on the counter, there's that one AG there. You kind of can't see, but I'm guessing to the left over there, there's some some little targets just like the one at uh, at the spacecraft place. But the question is, is this a good idea? I mean. Maybe there's maybe there's a niche market for this for little kids, but uh, I gotta wonder. Your mall's probably already struggling if something like this is coming into an empty mall marketplace. And case in point, when I was researching things, I came across this older story about Aim Point shooting range, and you can see here very similar. We've got like they've got like camo drops here over some tables with with the carnival style um, targets in the back, and they just got a table set up right there in an empty mall storefront. And in this particular case, the mall was. Not not happy about it at all. A lot of angry parents took to Twitter like an angry flock of Karens and managed to get them all to uh, to shut them down. I guess they felt like it was insensitive that there was real looking guns in a mall. You know, go figure. So I don't know, we'll see how these other two that just opened up this past couple weeks in July fare going forward. So there you go guys, I mean I don't know, what do you think about this concept? Do you, uh, do you think it's too hokey and carnival-like? Or do you think it's pretty good for little kids to get introduced to airsoft in general? And what do you think about the Karens that managed to get the one in the mall shut down? Maybe, generally speaking, inside of a mall isn't the best place for this, but you know, where else would you open one of the things? If you got a struggling mall and it needs tenants, then somebody's willing to open up a little airsoft shooting gallery? Why the heck not? I don't know, you tell me. 
So that's it for this installment of This Week in Airsoft. If you like what we're doing here and you haven't already, join us on our Airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video when they come out. Until then, we'll see you next time. Are you done?